Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the reactions acting on the smooth uniform bar, which has a math, mass of 20 kilograms. Okay, this problem is really easy, so let's get to it. We have a vertical reaction f of a of y and a horizontal reaction f of a of x and then we have a reaction f of b which is acting at 90 degrees of the surface and then we have the angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees with this is enough to do this problem so let's get started we're gonna do the sum of the moments at A. Why? Because we have three variables. We have f of A, x, f of A, y, and f of B. If we do the sum of the moments at B, we only get rid of one variable. But if we do sum of the moments of A, we get rid of two variables and we can solve for the last one. Something I forgot about this body diagram is the weight. All right, so some of the moments at A is zero. Assuming kind of clockwise is positive, this is equal to the weight times, now you need to calculate the distance from A to the half of the rod projection with the floor. So this triangle formed by the weight this line etches through which is half the rod on the floor is this triangle right here and we know that this angle is 30 degrees we know that this length is 2 meters because it's half of the 4 degrees of the rod so this projection can be found by doing 2 cosine of 30 2 cosine of 30 we are assuming that counterclockwise is positive so this is negative because it's trying to turn it this way Now, the second moment is the moment created by f of b. But remember, we got to calculate the moment of f of b at 90 degrees, which would be this projection right here. Let's call this projection of f of b onto this line, f of b prime. So this is f of b prime times 4 because 4 is the length of the rod now how do we calculate f of b prime well this is just a bunch of trigonometry so i'm gonna draw a vertical line right here and i know this is 90 degrees this is 60 degrees so this is let me draw it right here 30 degrees right I also know that this is 30 degrees, so this is 60 degrees, which means that this is 30 degrees, right? Now, look at this right here. This is 90 degrees, right? Because that's what's causing the moment. And we know that from here to here is 60 degrees. so. That means that this is 30 degrees. And I know that f of b is the normal, which is this, is 90 degrees. Because this right here is 90 degrees. I know it's hard to see, so bear with me. And we have this 30 degree angle. Therefore, this is also 30 degrees. So let me just extract that triangle right here. This is f of b, this is f of b prime, and this is 30 degrees. That's the angle that we just figured out. So now you can see it should be pretty obvious that f of b prime is equal to f of b cosine of 30. 
So we're going to plug this in to here in this equation and I'm going to keep writing it down here. Sorry for my ugly arrow. And that is equal to 0 is equal to uh, the way times 2 cosine of 30 negative is equal to negative 3, 39.83. Now, 4 times cosine of 30 is 3.464 times f of b. And with this we can solve for f of b, which is equal to 98.1 newtons. Now, sum of the forces in the x is equal to 0. In the x we have f of a x minus f of b times the cosine of 30. Why is that? Because this force, f of b, we find all these angles right here. We know that the last angle that we have to find is another 30 degree angle to be perfectly horizontal. Now I know this is getting kind of messy over here, so if this is f of b and this is 30 degrees, then the x component of f of b is f of b cosine of 30. And the y component is f of b sine of 30. So that's what I did right here. I did the x component of b. So it's f of a of x minus f of b cosine of 30. That means that f of a x is equal to 98.1 times the cosine of 30. f of a x is equal to 84.96 newtons. And the last one is sum of the forces in the y is equal to 0 and is equal to f of a y, which is the one we got to find, minus the weight, don't forget the weight, plus the y component of f of b, which is f of b sine of 30. Now that means that f of a y is equal to the weight minus f of b sine of 30. f of a y, when you plug in the, the weight, which is 9.81 times 20 is equal to the weight. 20 because it's 20 kilograms. 9.81 is the acceleration of gravity. So 9.81 .9, times 20 minus f of e, which is 98.1 times sine of 30, should give you 147.15 newtons. Final answer for the normal at B, final answer for the horizontal reaction at A, and final answer for the vertical reaction at A.